Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Paul, an international medical graduate. In this video, I will discuss a very simple but important topic for the exam that is stages of prevention of disease. The reason for making this video is that examiners are so smart. They will change the scenario in such a way if we don't follow, we will miss the answer. I hope you will enjoy and stay until the end of this video. And also, please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you find it helpful. It inspires me to make more videos like this and helps grow this channel. Let's get started. Primordial Prevention Primordial prevention consists of actions to minimize future hazards to health and hence inhibit the establishment factors like environmental, economic, social, behavioral, cultural, those known to increase the risk of disease. It addresses broad range of health determinants rather than preventing personal exposure to risk factors. This is very important, broad health determinants, not personal exposure to risk factors. As for example, improving sanitation to prevent infectious agents, establishing healthy communities, promoting a healthy lifestyle in childhood through prenatal nutrition programs and supporting early childhood development programs. In summary, primordial prevention deals with population level programs. Now primary prevention. Primary prevention seeks to prevent the onset of specific disease via risk reduction, that is by altering behaviors or exposures that can lead to a disease, or by enhancing resistance to the effect of exposure to a disease agent. Primary prevention generally targets specific causes and risk factors for a particular disease. Again, this is super important, specific causes or specific disease as for example, smoking cessation and vaccination. Now, secondary prevention. It includes procedures that detect and treat preclinical pathological changes and thereby control disease progression. Any screening procedures such as pap smears for cervical cancer, mammography to detect early stage breast cancer are important examples of secondary prevention. Tertiary prevention. It seeks to soften the impact caused by the disease on the patient's function, longevity, and quality of life. Examples include cardiac rehabilitation following a myocardial infarction, seeking to alter behaviors to reduce the likelihood of a reinfarction. That means a disease is there, now it needs treatment. Tertiary prevention can include modifying risk factors such as assisting a cardiac patient to lose weight or making environmental modifications to reduce an asthmatic patient's exposure to allergens. So always think about the scenario, how they are presenting. Quaternary prevention, identifying patients at risk of unnecessary treatment, protecting from the harm of new interventions. Examples include electronic sharing of patient records to avoid duplicating recent imaging studies. Mnemonics that we use commonly are primary for prevent, secondary for screen, tertiary for treatment. In your exam, mostly you can expect questions from this. Flash quiz 1. A 50-year-old female presents to the physician concerned about breast cancer as one of her friends recently died of breast cancer. Based on her age, the physician advised her mammography. What sort of prevention of disease is that? Pause for 10 seconds, think about it and comment down below. What do you think? Flash quiz 2. A 50-year-old female presents to the physician with the complaints of lump in her right breast. Imaging guided core biopsy shows carcinoma breast. She is suggested to undergo a mastectomy. What sort of prevention is that? Pause for 10 seconds, think about it and comment down below what do you think. So the answer of flash quiz 1 is secondary prevention. As we mentioned earlier, mammography is a screening test and any sort of screening test is considered as secondary prevention. What about flash quiz 2? Did you think about tertiary prevention? If you, then you are right. Here you see this patient is already having breast carcinoma and she underwent mastectomy as part of treatment. So this is tertiary prevention. I have two questions for you. 
a 50 year old female presents to the physician concerned about breast cancer her mother died of carcinoma breast five months ago based on her age she was advised mammography which reveals normal genetic testing identified mutation in BRCA1 or BRCA2 gene the physician suggested her prophylactic mastectomy and she underwent mastectomy what sort of prevention of disease is that comment down below what do you think flash quiz 4 social distancing or wearing masks in covid 19 pandemic is an example of what kind of prevention comment down below what is your opinion that's all for today i hope you enjoyed it in my next video i will continue with my ethics video series as part 4 if you haven't checked my previous videos on medical ethics yet please check the link in the description below and also do not forget to like share comment subscribe and click the bell icon to get the notification of my latest videos till then stay connected i greatly appreciate your feedback thanks for watching